Hello everyone, this is Sayyid Musa Kalim from Epicop and today we'll see how we can uh, show the data which we are getting from Facebook. So we have seen in the part one of this video that is how we can integrate Facebook login in Ionic 3 and we have integrated. So if you missed that video then please make sure that you watch that video. Uh, you won't be understand this video until and unless you watch that video. So uh, we have integrated Facebook login in Ionic 3 and now I'm gonna show you how you can display that data in your application. Uh, so I'm gonna display only the four fields or the uh, four things uh, which we are getting from Facebook and that four things are the name of the user na the name of the user and email address and the display uh, and the photo URL and we can show anything like the phone number as well so this three these three things uh, will display on our page so as you can see here I have uh, I got the response from Facebook and it is an object inside this we have one user object and you can see here uh, we have display name which is mine email address that is also mine and the photo URL here you can see here the photo URL so these three things will display in one card and will display it on our page so let's get started so this is the card which I have selected to display my uh, data which we are getting from Facebook so you can copy this I'm gonna display only the image uh, username and the email address these three things will show so I'll paste it here uh, from the ionic docs you can see yeah so this is our simple card and you can see here I'm not gonna display this image because we don't have uh, any image I'm just displaying the thumbnail image here uh, which is my profile picture of Facebook and here I'll show my uh, username of Facebook and you can see here the email address so first we'll create uh, one object to see that uh, whether the user has been logged in successfully or not so we'll create one simple object here Facebook and we'll see logged in and we'll set this to false because by default we have to set this to false uh, you have to give any here r string boolean you can see here I'm getting uh, one issue only refers to a type but it is being used as a value here so you don't have to give any type uh, sorry I have to give comma here because I can I cannot give yeah sorry I was giving uh, equals to sign that was not correct logged in is set to false and name should be empty and email will also be empty will leave these things and profile picture and we'll set this to empty as well so we'll give semicolon here we have created an object here and as we are displaying our data which we are getting from Facebook in the console so we'll remove uh, we'll remove this and we'll set this dot Facebook dot logged in equals to true and this dot Facebook dot email equals to response dot user uh, you might be wondering how I am giving this right so uh, we are getting response 
and in that response we are getting one user object you can see here one user object here so inside this we have the email like you see here email we have to copy this and we have to paste it here semicolon and now we'll store this dot facebook dot um, name equals to response dot user dot display name you can see here the username of the facebook this dot facebook dot uh, finally we are going to store our image so this uh, response dot user dot we are getting an object here you can see here photo URL this is our profile picture of Facebook so we are storing it inside profile picture so we are all done now and also I'm gonna set this logout message with the logged in equals to false because once we logged in it it will be set to false and it is set to true by default it should be set to false so we have to save this and we have to move to home.html to display this all data which we are getting from Facebook so this is my login with Facebook button and also I'm gonna check here with the structural directive called ngf ngf equals to if Facebook dot logged in what I'm telling here is what I'm trying to show here is if the user is not logged in then only we are going to allow the user to log in to log in into the Facebook to log in into our app using Facebook using Facebook the user can be able to log in if the user is not actually logged in so by default it is set to false and now we are checking here it that if not Facebook dot logged in then only user can be able to log in in to our application and I'm gonna sh also I'm gonna sh uh, give one ng decorator here that if Facebook dot logged in if he is logged in then only we are going to display the data right so we are uh, allowing users to see the data in this card we are checking here before uh, displaying data if he is uh, if the user is logged in then only we are going to display the data so we have to remove this source as we are not using any local image here we use two-way binding here and we'll say uh, actually we have to give some space Facebook dot uh, Facebook dot profile picture right profile picture and inside this I'm gonna show Facebook dot the username right username is our name which we have stored in a, in an object here and also I'm gonna sh display the email address of user right so we have to use Facebook dot email so as you can see we are not using any big picture here so we may remove this so it is it is better to remove this so I'm gonna display this dummy content from in the on card content so let's save this and let's see our uh, our user details which we have logged in here I have given my uh, Facebook credentials so probably I may get 
uh, my profile picture uh, my username and my email address in your case you can log in with a, any ID so that you can be able to see the users data uh, inside your page so it was just a simple example which I have shown you in this video uh, this is just a simple card social card you could use any one uh, you, you could also use this background images card uh, or you can use anything here so I have used only a social card simple card since we are not dealing with this image so I have removed this in my application but you can use we have map cards as well uh, yeah, you can see here once we scroll down yeah you can see here the map and some icons are there beautiful icons with the text uh, you can create or you can use this in your application to display users data right so it is running and it might take some time so if you missed my previous video on so I may get the response here uh, yeah I have done all things correct so probably I'll get log out it's not a function okay all right I have used some another method yeah you can see here so I have to use Oh, I have to remove this parenthesis. Yeah. So once we have to log out and then only we can able to log in in our application so that we can see our data inside the card. So it is taking more time to load because my laptop is a bit slow. And you can see the response in the console itself and you can play around with the data you can show in it any element or in any form as well so this was just a simple example which I have given you and if you missed my previous video that is the part one how we can integrate uh, Facebook login in your ionic 3 application so, then make sure to watch that because I have shown you how you can integrate the Facebook login in that video yeah uh, yeah the pop-up has been opened for us and we'll get a response here Uh, it might take we have done something wrong here so we have to wait for this uh, I have given one decorator here one one uh, directive here yeah you can see here I have uh, I got the my data inside the card you can see here Sayed Musa Kaleem is my username and Sayed Musa dot Kaleem at the rate yahoo dot com is my uh, email address of Facebook and you can also see the dummy data so in this way you can show your you can display your data you can display users data in the form of card in the form of social card and hope you understand and hope you like this video please share and subscribe my subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and don't forget to watch the part one of this uh, tutorial because I have shown you how you can integrate Facebook login in that video and then you can watch this part two to play around with the data and how you can display the data users data inside the card form so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel 
thanks again for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video